Hi guys, hi, welcome to my channel. So, um, today I will do a review on my Louis Vuitton Galliera PM in Dami Azur. So, it was really highly requested and I'm really happy that I found finally time to do this review. It's my pleasure, I love this bag and I'm happy if I could do something for you. So, um, I would say let's get started. Okay, here we go. Here is the back and as always and as all bags it comes with a dust bag and the dust bag looks like this. Okay, so let's just take the bag out from the dust bag. Here we go and here is the bag. Hope you can see it. Okay, so this one is the Galliera in the PM size and it's actually a big bag, so it's a big uh, hobo style bag and it's big enough for me, I mean, okay let's start with the review. The bag has on front a plate, a beautiful plate which says Louis Vuitton and has the um, the address of the Louis Vuitton store in Paris. It has one handle and the handle is um, adjustable, has three sides, but it's not detachable. So the, the handle, the leather handle is attached on this beautiful ring, as you can see here. And here, this is the ring. The ring has embossed Louis Vuitton on it, on both sides. Here as well, as you can see. And as you can see here, the ring just um, take this, this, the back, the, these two pieces of the back it takes together. So that's why it, it, uh, it, um, it looks like this. I mean, the shape of the back it's also because of this and I actually love this so I hear from many people that the ring actually let stain here black mark um, from ribbing so the back is new and I didn't really use it until a few weeks ago so I don't have yet this issue and I really hope that I will not get this issue I mean, they, they told me that they fixed this with some plastic here inside, but well, I have to use it more to um, be able to see if there will be something. However, the back has four feet on the bottom, which are attached on leather piece, as you can see here and here. And the bottom says also Louis Vuitton, it's embossed inside. Then. Here you can see the leather goes all the way down here. It's a little piece of leather. Leather. Here we go. On the back there is nothing. No plate, no pocket. Here we go. Yeah. So the strap is really thin. As you can see, there is nothing embossed on the leather, leather and it's really thin. That's why it feels really comfortable on, the, on your shoulder. So let's take measures. I will just try to do my best. Okay. So the back is down something like 39 and a half centimeters. From here to here. Let's take the measures on top because it's a little bit different. Yeah, it's 35 and a half. So from here to here is 35 and a half. Then the bottom. Let's take. It's a little bit difficult. Yeah, 10 centimeters. So it's from here to here it's 10 centimeters and let's see 
for the strap from here to here how much and these are 18 centimeters so enough space actually to to uh, carry it on the shoulder bag and I have it we have to consider that I have it on the second side so in the middle one and I like it like this let's see now the inside how is the opening so the opening it's actually um, really good we have a magnetic button opening as you can see here so no zipper closure no carabiner but a magnetic button here on this tag it says also um, where the back is made here we go and the interior is the beige microfiber lining so let's just see inside as always I store some air papers inside my bags to keep the back shape so here we go there you um, can see that we have some pockets I'll show you. Here is the typical cell phone pocket and here we have a beautiful pocket which open as a flap like this and you will have enough space actually here to store um, your cell phone or keys or um, some sweets and on the back of this pocket you have again a little um, storage also to um, store your work badge or whatever. Um, then we will then we have here a D-ring to attach your um, pochette or your keys. Yeah. So here we go. And it feels really soft. Okay. So let's start actually to fill um, some things inside the bag so that we can see how it looks when it's stuffed. And then as always I will give you some modeling shots. Okay. Here we go. So um, here is a cosmetic pochette in uh, the PM size and I choose of course the Dami Azur just to match the back. Here we go. Then I will have my wallet and I choose my uh, insulate wallet and this one is the normal one. I have nothing inside, I choose just this one to um, show you how it fits inside the Galliera. And I attached here the keychain or the long chain, the gold chain, however we can call this. And you can use then this uh, um, wallet as a wristlet actually, so as a lunch clutch, or just attach this inside your D-ring. So inside, um, hook this to the D-ring inside the back. So this is what I, will do now because the back has no zipper closure so may I feel more comfortable when my um, wallet is attached. Here we go. Let's show you like this. Okay. Then I have here a mini pochette and let's say that we store here inside some uh, work stuff like work keys and work badge which I have also this one you can hook it on the D-ring if you want but if but you don't need it so you can do it how you prefer I just store it now inside so okay cosmetic pochette wallet insulate wallet and a pochette mini pochette then I have here my sunglasses and I stored my sunglasses inside this Sunglass, ho sunglass, sunglass holder, <laughs> sorry, and mine it's in the monogram and in the MM size as you can see here. The interior is a microfiber beige lining also so really soft and there are my uh, sunglasses which I already showed on my Louis Vuitton accessory collection so check that out if you would like to see my sunglasses and just to show you that it fits perfectly. I mean, you can also store the sunglasses without the dust bag, but I'm really afraid that I can um, scratch it a little bit, so I just put it inside with my um, dust bag. However, so as you can see here, it, it uh, fits perfectly inside. And here you go. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. 
Okay, yeah, the back is really soft and, and slouchy, so that's why, yeah, it's uh, also hard for me to show you um, the inside. So here I have the key pouch in the vernis leather and this color is called Pomme d'Amour. So uh, let's say that I store here uh, my keys and I would just store this one inside the pocket here. Here we go, perfect. Then I have here my mobile phone and this one is the iPhone 4 and I would say to store this inside this other pocket. Here we go and it fits perfectly just to show you that it fits. Let's close. Yeah, here we go. But you can do it also on the convert, just uh, put here inside your cell phone and the key inside this pocket. I mean, it doesn't matter. Then here I have my uh, mini iPad. And just to show you that of course it fits perfectly. Here we go. And you have enough space to store all the, all the things inside. Okay, then I have here a key charm or a back charm. And this one is the groom in the Dami Azur. And I got this, of course, to match um, my bag, to use it on my Dami Azur bag. So, there you go. And it looks like this. Yeah. And I also would like to show you the tassel charm in the navy blue, which I got uh, off of from eBay. So I ordered also a navy blue just um, to to attach it on the Daniel Zurbach, and I I think it looks really gorgeous. It's really beautiful. But here we go, just to show you how the tassel charm looks and. Also how it looks on a back. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, okay. So, let's close the bag. Just again a little shot. Um, I would actually store here inside this little pocket some tissues, but yeah, I do not have tissues right now, but just to show you. I do, yeah, okay, let's close the bag with this um, magnetic. Okay, here it is. Okay. Okay, let's just do some modeling shots. I hope you can a little bit like this. Okay, so the back, you can carry the back um, as a shoulder back, as you can see. And it's a hobo style back. Of course, it can, it can get heavy if you just put um, more things inside, but still comfortable on your shoulder. And I love it. Here we go. On the other side. You can carry the bag also by elbow, like this, and it still looks really um, elegant, or by hand, and then you will get more uh, a casual look. Here we go. So, I got this bag actually in um, January this year, or February, uh, could be the beginning of February. Um, it was on my wish list and I thought to buy it in April, May, so like now. But as I went to the store and then just told it, told to my sale associate that I have the Galera on, on my wish list and I would like to get it um, in April or May, she just jumped and told me, yeah, the Galera would be discontinued, so if you want, if you would if you really want to have one then you should buy it now because uh, yeah it's discontinued i mean the gm was already discontinued last year and the pm in the pm size it was discontinued this year so i was really uh, okay i have to get it and i have i had to plan how to um get it yeah 
However, but I'm really happy that I have it now and I can't wait actually to to carry it during summer. And I really love it. I mean, so I really don't know if you still can buy it on a store. Maybe some stores in the world have some left. Um, you should ask your um, your store or just call the customer service and I'm pretty sure that you can get it on eBay. Um, the Galliera came also in the monogram in the PM and GM size and in the Dami Azur PM and GM size and this one is in the PM size. So here we go. Okay, so I really hope, it, hope that you enjoyed watching um, this review. If I missed something um, just let me know in the comments below and oh yeah I just want to welcome my all new subscribers I really enjoy that I have more viewers yeah okay so um, I would say see you on my next video and wish you a good evening bye